How's things been with you? It's alright, yeah. I, 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 he sent me a video about music. Okay. Which, which I have to say, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, I don't know how to put it. I was, I was, I was personally loved it. Personally, I loved it. It was brilliant. Okay, okay. <laughs> what, what was the oh. point? Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. So, yeah, the I'm video on, I made I'm about... on your YouTube. Your YouTube ah, okay, video. yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. Oh, thanks, man. Um, you make some good points, honestly. Yes. Uh, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, so with music, um, music really is an expression of the soul. So to deny someone the, the, the fact that they can embrace music is bizarre. Like, for example, in the Christian tradition, we worship in music. Yeah, I know. I know right, right, right. In fact, the Psalms tell us to make a joyful noise for the Lord. Yeah, but you know, for me, is, is, is music, music is, is not natural. I like stuff which is, of course, so in Islam, it, you can sing, like you can sing, but it's yeah. the instruments in particular that are. Yeah. And I find just pure singing, abstract singing, to be far more beautiful. Because when you get to instruments, it kind of adds an unrealistic touch to it. Like it, it makes it, it makes it deeper, feel deeper. But really, what it does is it desensitizes you from like feeling things for what they actually are. So I don't feel the emotion because of the thing itself. For example, if it's something sad or something motivational or something inspiring, right. but because it's the music doing that. Sometimes, like, there would be literally... Yeah, yeah. Music, music can manipulate your emotions. That is correct. Yeah. But the, the thing is, is that there are perfectly good uses for that. So, for example, if I made a song about... I don't know. Uh, you could say anything. Like, uh, people being martyred for their faith, right? And you could put your own faith in there or whatever. The point is, is that if you think that's a sad thing, you can have sad music to accompany that. To get the message across that... Yeah, and it helps. And the, the reason why that's useful is because you meditate on it. When you listen to music, you're in a, in a kind of state of mind of reflecting on what you're hearing. Yeah. It affects your mood. That's not what I'm denying. What I'm right. doing, what, my problem is that music actually, it makes it, I don't know, it makes it, it, it makes it, it gives it, it, make, it, get, it takes it to a depth that she, which is, I feel like, unnecessary to a point. But the soul, the human soul is that deep. The music is just is a reflection of what your soul is. If it's that deep, then why do you need music to, to get No, that because deep? it reflects it. it. You have your soul. So like in your soul, you know that you're in love with a beautiful woman, yeah. right? That can, be, that can arouse quite passionate thoughts in a man. You, you can have music that reflects that. Yeah, that's all. Mu music is just trying to reflect what we inwardly know. That's, that's the whole point of music. So, so to deny music and the, and the expression of it in a significant way, like the Islamic tradition does, you in effect are saying you can't reflect your soul as much as you would want to. And it that does. is tragic. I feel like yeah. it really does. I've, I've had even, I've had quite like a journey like myself, yeah. like you know a lot of religious videos we have and a lot of and like uh, background, background music and that's something that I genuinely hate like even if the music is with the message, like it, 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 it emphasizes the message but at the end of it it's like okay so I'm watching this video and now I'm, I'm all invested, the music is making it feel deeper but then by the end of it when the music stops and the speech stops all of a sudden I feel like I just got removed from something Whereas if it was abstract speech, then when it's done, it keeps, it, it makes it more memorable. It makes it like more, you get what I mean? Like it makes it more... Do you, do you listen to Nasheed? Hmm? Yeah, you know Nasheed, the yeah. Islamic... Sing, sing, sing. Yeah, but, yeah, but they have instruments in them. They just have very, like, like they're just very selective about what they have in them, right? Yeah, and in, orthodox, in, in, in orthodox, like you just did all instruments all together. You have uh, drums which are permissible for wedding celebrations. Yeah. But even then, like even if it's just the voice, a lot of the time they manipulate the voice to make it more impactful. But it's different than an instrument. Why? It's still different. What's, I mean, like, okay, it, there's a video of Muhammad Ijab reciting the Quran, and in his video, he edits the audio so it, it has like reverb. So that, like, when he's reciting the Quran, it sounds oh, yeah, like yeah, his, yeah. you know yeah, what I mean? I know that, yeah. Like, yeah, gonna, yeah, I don't think that's, yeah. But the intent is the same. It's to add emphasis. It's to get you in a state of mind to appreciate what's being said. Yeah, but do you understand? Well, do you get my point? My point is that the the type of emphasis that the music puts on on things is not a positive, one, even if it emphasizes the right message. Not, not even if it's a recitation of the Quran. That's not music. Well, if you're saying it. And you're editing your voice artificially. No, I don't think that's. No, I don't think. I don't, I'm not with Mohammed Dijon. I don't think that's permissible. Because that's still. That would be music. 
Like some people even right. like do auto tune with recitations. Yeah. Not to make, not to give it. It doesn't even sound like auto tune, but they kind of manipulate it to make yeah. it more. Yeah, yeah. And that's not good. Yeah. That should not. It's not something that. It's not a good technology. So TV. Oh, well, fair enough, man. But I, I would, I wouldn't deny yourself the pleasure of good music. No, like I'm even, even in the concept of worship. Life, I just, I, the more I hear good, good music, the more, <laughs> the more I'm convinced that. Well, that's the, up the, for you to find, right? It's up to you to. I mean, it's not for me to tell you. It was for him or anyone. Yeah. It's up for you to export yourself and to. No, the more what I'm saying is, the more I hear it, the more I'm convinced that it's not good. <laughs> Maybe you've just heard really bad music. I don't know. No, trust <laughs> me, I have good taste. Yeah. Like, I have good taste. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I, 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 I know. I, I mean, he, I mean, I like nice ultimately, it's not, nice not even because I'm a Christian. I'm just, I'm more swing on your side of the argument. He did raise some good points though in terms of like the emphasis and yeah. sometimes you can manipulate things. Yeah, yeah. And like if you have without, that shows that that is the truth. So I remember you told me one um one hadith, yeah, the story when they were all night in prayer. And you remember when we it was about this music thing? They were what? I think they were praying. Uh, people of this harbour they were praying all night. Does that ring a bell? You told me a story and I was like, okay, cool. I get your point. Your rebuttal against the music. Oh right, yeah, yeah, I remember the story. Oh, basically, it's this story where basically the Muslim armies were kind of waiting on battle. Yeah. And what, in the night, while, while everybody's asleep, one one of them was up and he was praying. Mm. Right. And while he was praying, someone struck him with an arrow from 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 afar. So he just took it out and he kept praying. Yeah. So he struck him with another arrow. So he just took it out and he kept praying. Right. So it happened another time and he's still third time. He struck it out. He took it out and he kept praying. Then his companion noticed, he's like, why would you not tell me so that I could alert me? And he yeah. said, I was just reciting a surah and I did not want to interrupt it. Wow, okay. And it's that level of living with the Quran and living with reality in general to me that gets removed once you get too much immersed in music. Like reality becomes, I don't know. I don't know, man. I think it's just, a, it accompanies it. You can you know, I mean, I mean, really, it's going to come down to like opinion about whether you like music or not. But I, like I mean, music. well, is it permissible for you to even say that? Like, can you like music? I say I used to. I, I guess. I guess. I say I used to. Okay. All right. All right I guess. I don't know, man. I, w I wouldn't deny yourself that. I really wouldn't, because there are some amazing pieces of music. No, I, I, I believe you. I believe you. But the thing is, to me, is what I keep saying to you. Bro. I mean, even me personally, I feel like I feel like even um, it's an uh, expression of art. It's a way. It's a talent. Yeah. It's like how why I'm sure like God brought us down on this earth. Like people can sing beautiful voices. Yeah. I'm so sure they were meant to. They were they were made to be put to use by God. Otherwise, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have gifted them with that. That's the problem I have with it. Music. Uh, well, uh, your point is called talent these days. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, it's definitely not. Yeah, see. It's definitely. Um, so, a lot of people like to differ. Yeah, but. Not me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I think stuff like that, that's just taking advantage of certain things. Yeah. But music, like even uh, playing the guitar, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a talent. So, it's definitely a gift. It's definitely a gift from God. So, it's just like funny to me that why would God give us that and then deny us of it? That, that was my. There's I really a lot of bad things to do. You have, I don't know, bro, like. You, you, there's a lot of some people are talented in making I don't know cooking cooking types of drugs. Well, I think like uh, that's a talent. That's actually a talent, you know. <laughs> what? Well, so with music, you can use it as like a memory aid. That's one thing. Oh, so there's pragmatic yeah, yeah. use of music. Oh, 100. I mean, for example, you could use music to memorize parts of the Quran. So. Who said that? Well, no, you could use music to memorize anything. You can associate notes with things. Oh, I, think, I think the Quran is too wait, wait, easy to like, so memorize anyway. When I listen to a song, uh, you, can take, you can make it a cappella, uh, all the way around, instrumental, and I will instinctively know what the lyrics are oh, yeah, true. by hearing the notes. Yeah, yeah. True. Likewise, I could do that with Quran recitation. Why would you? You don't need to. Because it would help learn the Quran. It's really you know, I mean, it, would, it, would seem, Quran. it would seem odd that Allah would give you that and then be like, don't use it to learn the Quran. Bro, the Quran is too easy to learn on its own. You really don't need... <laughs> Yeah. Bro, I can well, go through. I can learn many, a page in half Muslim. an hour. I can learn a page of the Quran in half an hour by heart, and never, and, and that's it. No, you, no, no, like, no. You forget it, like most people would. Bro, I'm, unless unless you keep. I'm telling you from experience. Yeah. I know this for a fact because I've done it several times. Also, maybe because, sorry to cut you off. No, yeah. 
I feel like the Quran, the great speaker, but it's like the way that it's recited, it has kind of got like a musical sense to it. Yeah, it, it does, makes yeah. It like a bit the, um, easier. There's a name, I feel like the the there's a name for it. There's a name for it. Uh, what's the name? Taj. There's a name for it. Um, uh, there's a name for the way that you, the Quran is recited. I'll try to remember what it's called. It's like Taj. Is it Tajweed? Tajweed, yeah. Tajweed, yeah, yeah. So even that is like a kind of how you would pronounce it. And, and to be honest, when you hear Quran recitation, it sounds methodical. Uh, methodical? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like melody. Melody. Like, you know, they. There is melody there. Like if you go to a, if you go to an Anglican church, um, unless it's a high Catholic Anglican church, it, the, the recitation of like scripture is just it's just said. I love it. Literally, they just say it. There's... I love it. Okay, all right, yeah. fair enough. I've Come to an Anglican <laughs> church then. Huh? <laughs> Come to an Anglican church then. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. No. You see, I told you in the beginning, singing is still different to me. Like abstract singing without without instruments is still different than having instruments. I'm all for singing. I love singing. Like it's, I feel, I even feel like singing on its own is better than singing with an instrumental. These are deep convictions I have. I've developed. Like it's not just me arguing out of concept, but me arguing out of experience, out of knowing people, what music does, what like that sort of thing. So, well, you see, you're right to know that music does things. It does, right? It does change your mood. But the thing is that that's part of the point. You're meant to be moved by music. That's that's the entire point. Yeah, but that's not the type of movement that's. Like you know what Drake said, Drake said we don't listen if, if it's not without eight to eight, if it's not without drums. Well, it's a that's, I was oh, like, it's that a, is so it's true. It's a, it's a, I, but it's such a dumb statement to me because it's so obvious and people were like, oh, that is so true. And people were like, thought it was such, such, such a deep statement or smart statement, but it's like, it's so basic. Like you don't need, like that's the thing to me. I, I don't want to be dependent on instruments to feel good and stuff. Well, I feel like the more people get used to instruments, the more, the less disconnected they get from reality. They just become too dependent on the instrument. The instrument is what does, what gives them the emotion is the instrument, not the words. I've even gone to a church one time. I didn't even know I was going to a church. Someone invited me. Um, and people, there, there was music in the church, right? And people were dancing to it, doing everything. But I could tell, it was so obvious that people were moved by the music, not the words that's been said. It was so obvious, I could see it. Was it like quite charismatic church or so? I don't know. No. I don't know what that is. But uh, it was music and people were sitting, and the pastor was speaking and people were like it was the music, it was not the words. And that's a vulnerable state to me. That's that's something wrong with it. I to somewhat agree with that a little bit. And I don't know if that's like I've wanted to research more into that. I do feel like it's a bit of a I don't know if a, a problem is the word, but it does uh, make me like I don't want to say question things, but it is a thing for me. Like I do, like some churches, like with the music, it's like what you're saying. They're more moved by that. But I don't know if that's. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't well, know. well, this this means expressions of the charismatic uh, perspective. So, like Pentecostal, for example, um, where there, there are many churches that have a very liberal policy on like uh, how their worship is conducted. So they use like modern band instruments, and there's also an emphasis on usually very modern music yeah so it's still christian but it's modern and, and sometimes there's a massive emphasis on uh, uh expressing the holy spirit through through this act of worship that it gets it, it does sometimes think well, well hang on a second it's no longer about what's being said but more about how it's said like it's said in such a beautiful way that it's not really about the content I, well, if that's what you mean, kind of, yeah. I've, I've been in churches where I've thought that. Um, yeah. The, the, the Anglican stuff, that's the opposite, really. Anglican, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll check out. Anglican. Well, even, even when they sing hymns, like, uh, you, you're reading it all in front of you, and the amount of times I'm just looking, like, like, trying to, like, theologically, like, understand it and make sure it's sound as I'm singing it. Yeah. And it's like, and the reason you do it is because they're not the most catchiest of things. Yeah. They're quite slow, and you can read the text. But, yeah.